So I've recently gotten some comments on like uh, if I've been using face setting on my subs and uh, I haven't honestly because I haven't felt confident that it, it would help or that it would do anything but I thought I'd give it a try today and experiment a little and see if I can improve my base response by messing with uh, phase. So I'm going to take a measurement Actually, I am going to pull up my the last measurements that I took. This is the last, so I'm going to all SPL. And I'm going to get rid of, I'm going to uncheck a few. So this is where I left off last time. Um, as you can see, this is, there's just kind of like a problem area that I couldn't fix with EQ. So maybe phase can help. So I'm going to experiment with that today. And I'm going to I'm going to post my EQ settings. I'll take a screenshot on my phone so you can see what I what I'm working with here. Um, I'm gonna. So let me do that. Okay. So I've taken off the EQ from my phone. So you can see it's all off. That means this little this little check mark here to the right is off on all my EQ and I'm going to go to my left sub and it's all off. So um, I'm going to, since I'm already on my left sub, I'm going to change the phase. So I'm actually, I'm just going to leave all EQ off and and just go to 180. Let's just go to extremes and see what that does. Save. And you can see my. It's set at negative 16. They're both set at the same volume or gain. Let's take a measurement. So that's what 180 on the left. So that was not good. You can see these huge dips here and there and there. So I'm going to just do a drastic. Um, so I'm going to go back into my phone. I'm going to take it down to 90 and see what that does. I'm still on my left sub. Let's take a measurement now with 90 on one side, on the left side. It's flatter, but there's still massive dips. So I'm going to, I've already experimented with this, so I'm going to just go straight to I already checked the left sub and it really didn't help. So, but I, just so you can see, I'm going to take it to 45. I won't screenshot it, but just take my word that I changed it. Or I won't screen record my the app. And it helped a little, but there's still really big dips. So I already kind of went through all this, and I and I kind of concluded that the left sub, I, it has to say it's at zero phase. So I'm going to do zero phase again and show you what it looks like. Again, all EQ's off. There you go. Um, looks a lot better. I'm going to take away some of these. So you can see the last one and compare it to... So this is... This top line is like no EQ, no no EQ, no phase, and all four subs are connected. So the towers and the two PB three thousands are all connected at the same time. Okay, so now I'm going to start. I'm going to go to the right. Let me screen. Let me take a screen recording of this so you can see that what I'm doing in the app. Okay, so I'm going to go to the right sub. And I'm going to show you again that the 
EQ is all off. The little check mark is off. Yeah. I know it looks like it's there, but I don't want to like delete all my EQ because I'm going to show you what it looks like when, when it's all done. Well, when I use phase and EQ at the same time. So I'm going to go to phase and go straight to 180. It's not going to be ideal, but I'll show you. All right, let's take a measurement with, at 180 on the right sub, right PB3000 sub. Well, that's a hot mess. Look at all those dips. That doesn't do anything. That makes it much worse. All right. I'm going to change it again. I'm going to I'm going to go straight to 90 90 degrees and show you what that looks like. All right. Let's take a measurement at 90 degrees on the right sub. So let me show you the last, let me get rid of some of these. So look at that. It really flattens out. Okay, I'm going to just take it down to 60. So now I'm going to start going at lower increments. So I'll take it to 60. See what that does. Uh, let me see. Let me compare it to the last one. Let me get rid of this. Wow, and it really, it really pulls up towards the end here. And it's still pretty flat. So I'm going to, just so you see the difference at this volume level, I'm going to take it at zero. I'm going to set it to zero again on the right. And then rerun it so you can see it. So you can see the difference with no, fa uh, no phase. So this, this measurement is zero phase on both subs again so you can see the difference at the same volume. As you can see that dip there. It really, f it might you might get a little more uh, output up here. So I'm going to take it to 45 and see what that does. So I'm not gonna now I'm going from 30 degrees lower to 45. So I'll take a. So I'm gonna go to 45 on the right sub. Save. In the app. and take a measurement. It's about the same at 45. I mean, I'd rather be conservative. So I think I would go, I'd say lower, lower the phase, the better, if it looks about the same. I, I'm just guessing, but I'm assuming just better to be conservative. So that's, that's with no phase. This is with, and then I can add EQ on top of that and get this even flatter. So that's, that's looking good. So let me compare it to at 60. So I like it more because it kind of, at 45, this is a bit higher. There's a little more output up high. So I'm going to, I'm going to go to 30, 30 degrees and I'll save it to, I'll do one more measurement and then I'll go to 15 and see what that looks like, but it probably will start getting worse. I mean, it helps a little bit. So that, again, I'd rather be conservative if it looks about the same. So I'm going to take it down to 20 
We'll see what that looks like. It'll prob probably be similar. So just take my word on that. I didn't screen record that, but it's a 20 now. It starts, I think it started to go down again. Yeah, you can you can barely tell, but it's you can it's a little lower. I'm gonna try. Let me look at the with that. This is a zero. I mean, it's not a big difference, but it's it's a, it's a little bit. So I'm going. I think I'm gonna leave it at thirty. You know, I'll just take it to. F I'm gonna try ten. Just to say, I covered all my bases. Yeah, that's lower. So let me go. That's starting to approach with. So this orange one was, I believe, 20. This is 10. And this one is 30. I think I will leave it at 30. And now I'm going to start applying some my EQ that I already set up. So I'm going to leave this at 30. That looks seems to be the best one. Again, the left speaker didn't benefit from from a uh, phase and changing the phase. It was the right the right one, which has, there's a really, it's kind of a corner. It's on the, uh, that sub is on a corner, is in, in the corner of the room. I'm gonna switch up the, um, let me start adding some EQ that I had already set up. So I'm gonna do, I'm going to do this P, I'm going to turn on PEQ1 and PEQ3 on the right sub and save it. And then I'll see if I need to even do PEQ, the uh, middle one. Save. And then I'm going to go to left. I'll check, double check the right one here, make sure I got the right EQs. Got them wrong. Now it's correct. Okay. This one's wrong. That one's wrong. Alright, let's run a, let's see what this looks like with EQ now. And phase at 30 degrees on the right. So, a lot more output. It is flatter. And, uh, let's see. I believe I had an EQ to try to bring this this peak down. So I think I can add that and see if I can get this down a bit. So let me do that. So I'm going to turn on this PEQ3 on both. Let me save it. So now I'm going to try to lower this, this peak here. I, I brought this using phase and I use, and uh, EQ, this is as high as I could get it. I'm going to try to lower this a little bit. So let's run a measurement. Look at that. That 
about it way down. It's like, look, that's super flat. And now I'm going to compare it to, I think this is with nothing, with no EQ and zero, and zero phase. It's a lot flatter. Honestly, I think they're, um, there is a benefit to playing with phase. I had never done it before, and it did get bring this this area up a bit. So, yeah, I'll probably keep experiment experimenting with this, but I'm very happy with the results. And uh, please don't hesitate to comment, and I would appreciate if you liked and subscribed. Thank you.